Hi, good morning. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Kings at Home Daily. Welcome to my loft. Me off. And uh, welcome to the book of Revelation. As you spend these next few moments seeing what the Lord's got to say to us today. So let's pray and see what the Lord has for us. Lord, thank you so much that your word is alive and you love to speak to us. You, you, Lord, whenever we turn to you, you're there. Lord, what a joy. We... It's not a case of, oh, will we find you this morning? You're there. And we come to you and we pray, Lord, please, would you speak right into our hearts and lives today? I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we've been making very slow progress with the last of the churches, Laodicea. Um, see if we can finish it by Friday, shall we, Laodicea? And then we get on next week, the throne room in heaven. Anyway, okay, so where are we? Um, so I, t I told you yesterday about Laodicea, uh, a rich city, um, they, a banking city. It was very self-sufficient. They rebuilt their, their own city after an earthquake, didn't need any help from Rome. They, were, they had resources. So it was uh, banking, um, clothing and fashion, the, the whole, the, these black sheep, special black sheep, whatever. And um, what was the other thing? the sort of medical deal, the uh, eye salve, uh, to help with sight. So um, we're going to see some interesting uh, comments about the, uh, what, what, what this city has. The trouble was the Christians had become smug, that they put in their trust, in their wealth and all the stuff. They'd lost their edge, they'd lost their passion for Jesus. They'd forgotten that they're disciples, they're pilgrims, living for an, a, another day, another world. They were living in present putting banking all their hopes on things that were sinking sand so true for us in our in, a, in the comfortable west um, okay so let's have a look I know your deeds you're neither hot nor cold you've become lukewarm you're smug you are indifferent there's no passion gone off the boil I wish you were one or the other because you're lukewarm now, some people think there could be a reference here to uh, there were some hot water springs outside town somewhere, and I think when they were channeled into the city, they got a bit. They were sort of lukewarm by the time they. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Um, because you're lukewarm, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. Oh, this is a horrible picture, and it just, Lord, Lord, Lord. <sighs> of course, it, I, I think you need to see there's 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 a loving warning here. There's the heart, the heart of God, the heart of the Lord wanting these people, to, trying to help them to wake up to the reality of their situation. Um, I guess sometimes when you're in a hard spot, you, you know you need help. When you're comfortable, you need a bit of a wake-up call because you don't know you need help. Okay, let's, let's move on. You say, I am rich, I have acquired wealth. You don't need a thing. Oh, how dangerous. Jesus spoke about the danger of riches. It's the love of money, of course. Money is, is okay, and you can use it for the glory of God, but it's the love of money that wrecks you. Okay. Um, you say, I'm rich, I've acquired wealth, you don't need a thing, but don't you realise you're wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked? Oh, there's the, 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 the medical and the clothing thing. You know, you're blind and naked. You think you've got great medical science and... This eye clinic you've got and the, all the, this fancy clothing industry you've got. You're blind and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold. They've got gold in their banks. But he's caught, he said, come and buy from me gold refined in the fire. What does that mean? Come and buy from me gold refined in the fire. I think it's speaking about the, the true wealth, the wealth of 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 knowing jesus that you know that the pearl of greatest price um thinking of that you know pearl found that you, you sell everything you've got for this precious pearl refined in the fire that the lord jesus wanted to refine their lives through the challenges of uh, of, of their lives and it's what he does with us you know as we go as we as we go rather than succumbing to challenges it's as we dare to trust and and hold on lord i'm believing you and i'm trusting 
that, that, that there's, there's, there's refining going on there, and it's beautiful to the Lord. Um, you, you, you can read about that in, in Peter's letters, can't you? You know, don't be surprised at the fiery ordeal, as though something strange is happening. The Lord uses, he can use the, the, the challenges of life to, to make you shine for his glory. <laughs> he can. I know it's a bit pain, it is painful, but we can end, you know, it, it, it kind of shows us where our, what, where our reliance is, what we rely on, and the Lord loves it. When we sit, when we cry out to him, Lord, this is hard. I don't understand, but I trust in you. <laughs> oh, beautiful gold refined in the fire, so that you can become rich and white clothes to wear, not the black sheep stuff that's so trendy and and whatever you know. White, pure, beautiful. Isn't that lovely? So you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so that you can see. There we are, the eye salve. They need, what they needed was their spiritual eyes to be opened. They needed their, uh, yeah, the eyes of their heart, their spiritual eyes to be opened, to, to see the reality around them, to see the reality, to see the reality of the things that matter, the things that don't matter, the things that are priceless, <laughs> the Lord Jesus, the things that are potentially worthless because they're passing away. And they need that spiritual eyes. That's so important, isn't it, in our day, it, it, in, in a materialistic society such as ours. We need our spiritual eyes to be opened. Um, there's a song, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart. I want to see Jesus. I want to see Jesus. I, I, I haven't got my, no, I'm not, no, I'm not going to play it. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up. Someone put the link in there, will you? Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see you. It's so important, isn't it? So easy to, for our vision to be totally filled with the stuff of life. Things that we think are so important, things going on in the world, open the, our spiritual eyes, even in our, especially in our day. Lord, what, show us what you're doing in our day. Open the eyes of our heart. As a church family in Norwich, open the eyes of our heart, Lord. We want to see what you're doing. We want to see what you want to do in our lives. We want the our spiritual eyes to be opened and 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 that's why that's why we pray that's that's why you know steph spoke to us as a church family a while ago about upping the level of our prayer together so the eyes of our uh, our hearts that our spiritual eyes will be opened just to what the lord's doing in these days they're they're, they're, they're urgent days aren't they you don't need me to tell you that and that's why we we, we want to be gathering for prayer gathering to be in the presence of the Lord each Sunday. We, we want the eyes of our hearts, we want our spiritual eyes to be opened and not to become blind to things that matter most. So I'm going to pray for us along those lines this morning. We made a bit of progress, <laughs> but let's, let's pray the Lord would open the eyes of our hearts, our spiritual eyes, that we'd see things as they really are. Lord, so easy to be deceived. It's so easy for our hearts and minds to be deceived by what we see around us. So easy for our values to get turned upside down. Uh, Lord, I pray for us as, uh, uh, as your people. Lord, would, I pray this morning, open the eyes of our hearts. We want to see Jesus. We certainly do. We also want to see the things that matter. Lord, we want to live for you. Lord, we want our eyes to be on the future that you have for us. We want to, our eyes to be on, on, on spiritual things. We, we want to be more like Jesus. Lord, please open the eyes of our hearts to what you're doing in this day. How you want to use us as a church family here in the heart of Norwich. Lord, open the eyes of our hearts, our spiritual eyes, that we would live for you and for your glory and not get sidetracked. 
Lord, if, our heart, if we've gone a bit dull and lukewarm, Lord, I pray, please open the eyes of our hearts to give us that we'll have a greater passion for Jesus. Open the eyes of our hearts, I pray. In Jesus' name I ask it. Amen. Well, God bless. Uh, I hope that's been helpful this morning. Hope to see you again tomorrow morning. Bye now.